The first way to screencast over the ImageMate software would be to open up and go into the Chrome browser and you should have an extension called Screencastify. You can open up Screencastify, click on desktop, set your microphone. As you can see here, I've used, I'm using the blue snowball, but you can use your desktop computer. You can also embed a webcam so it will preview and show you on the screen as well. But I'm going to click on start recording and I'm going to ask that it show the live image of the ImageMate. So it will record what you're doing with the Elmo doc cam. Now I can move my hands around, I can do problems, I can show an image under the doc cam and it will record whatever I'm doing at that time on the Elmo doc cam. Once you finish recording your screen with Screencastify, you'll determine where you're going to store your file. So I already have it automatically uploading into my Google Drive, but I can also, if I go to the share button here, I can send this video to YouTube. YouTube's a much quicker way for your students to access the videos, and you can also create playlists in YouTube. So I would select YouTube, I'd select my channel, so I would put it at Ruben Hoffman. With our GUHSD accounts, we have a YouTube account, so I can click on public, and then I can upload it into my YouTube channel. And now my students, parents, anyone that can access my YouTube channel can find it. If I click on unlisted, that means they would have to know about my YouTube channel. Um, public means they could search anywhere through YouTube. This has been how to use your Elmo doc cam to screen record using Screencastify.